Hey everyone, welcome back to our Advanced Asana series. We are currently on week one, which means we are working into one of my all-time favorite poses, Dancer's Pose. Hopefully you've already done the first video, which was our Yoga Strong workout, where we really focused on developing strength and stability to assist us in moving deeper into this pose. And then today we're diving into our 60-minute yoga flow. So with this flow, we're gonna be moving as if we were in a vinyasa flow, but taking these little pauses to really workshop our dancer's pose and how we can safely navigate into those deeper spaces. I know that this is one of those postures that we kind of get and then we're not quite sure how to progress it. So this is really going to be beneficial if you've been feeling a bit static in this particular pose. So with that being said, you will need a couple of things. If you have them, you do not have to have either of these to practice today. If you have your yoga mat, just go ahead and roll it out. And then also something that would be rather beneficial in this practice would be a strap. So this is a yoga strap, but you definitely do not have to have this particular thing. Some great things around the house that you might find is a thin towel, a scarf, even a belt. So just find anything that is rather really long that you can use to help your body move in new spaces. So obviously today we're working into dancer pose, but I was kind of inspired by that. I grew up dancing for years and it is actually what brought me to yoga. So with our dancer pose, I just think it feels so freeing. It's a beautiful back bend and heart opener. So I really wanted to also incorporate some of that dance style fluidity into our practice. We're gonna be using a nice sequencing with the arms to really just explore and open up. So in ballet, which the language of ballet is French, there's a term called port de bras, which means carriage of the arms. So particularly in ballet, you have first position, second position, fifth position, and this just this really nice balance of maybe strength along with that fluidity. You can feel the energy reaching out as you move through. So maybe just taking that as a little bit of inspiration as you move through your practice here today, really allowing your body to just move itself into these new spaces, including that dancer's pose. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna start nice and slow, go ahead and warm the body up so we're ready to advance that. Let's come into our child's pose. So as you settle onto your mat, just find a really comfortable positioning here. You can set your knees far apart or maybe all the way together, somewhere in between is perfect. And then just walking your hands out long in front of you, rest your forehead onto your mat, the earth. And let your hips drop back to your heels. And let's just take a really nice deep breath in through the nose. And open the mouth side out. Let's take another one just like that, breathing in. And breathing out. Now feel your lips. Keep with that same energizing focus to the breath. Our pranayama building that control of the breath so that we are able to sustain these rather challenging positions. Making sure we're supplying ourselves with that life force that is so necessary as we move through this practice. as we are working into some more advanced postures throughout this series, maybe you will allow yourself to find a little bit deeper meaning into that. So these postures require strength, determination, resilience. And although these are kind of things that we are working into the physicality of, as we move on our yoga mat, that often teaches us how to move off of the mat as well. So maybe you feel yourself developing some of that strength, not just in your physical body, but in your mentality, allowing yourself to always be really devoted into what it is you desire, whether that's a yoga posture or anything else in life. Find the fuel within. Let's take one more deep breath in. However you need, just exhale it out. Then let's start to vertebrae by vertebrae roll up through your spine. So taking your time here, just dragging your hands back along your mat. 
and then eventually you'll feel them slip all the way onto the tops of your thighs. As you do, tilt your chin all the way up to the ceiling, roll those shoulders down and back, feel that nice heart opening. And then from there, heart is pouring straight back down to the mat, sliding your hands out long in front of you, eventually landing right back into your child's pose. And let's connect the breath into this movement. So inhale, we'll slowly roll all the way up through the spine, finding that energetic lift of the heart at the top, and then exhale, pours you right back forward, letting it all go. Again, breathing in, finding space through the back body. Collarbones broaden at the top. And then exhale, come all the way forward. One more time, we're gonna roll all the way up through the spine, really dragging the hands back on your mat. Now hold it here. Stay in a seated position, just make your chin parallel to your mat, looking straight forward. Now with a breath in, we're gonna reach our arms straight up to the ceiling, nice deep breath in. Here's that quarter draw, you're gonna reach the fingertips out in front of you, so about shoulder height, palms up with the exhale. And then from here, take your arms nice and wide, big breath in, stretch out. And then exhale, place the palms right back to the tops of your thighs. Let's take that one more time. So inhale, reaches you all the way up. Exhale, extending forward, palms shine up. Inhale, let's open it wide, look up as you do so. And then exhale, hands to the tops of your thighs. Keep your hands here, inhale, looks right back up. And then exhale, child's pose, pour all the way down to your mat. Hold it here for a big breath in. And then let that breath go. Let's rise into our tabletop position, all fours. And as you come into all fours, just getting really strong here, stacking your shoulders above the wrists, hips above your knees. We'll take a cow pose. Sag your belly down to the mat, lift through the heart, chin juts upwards, breathe in. And then cat pose with your exhale, chin tucks to the chest, you round and curl through your spine. And then again, inhale, dip the belly, lift through the heart, open up. And then exhale, just round it all out. Let's take it once more, just like that, big breath in. And breathe out. Bring your spine back to neutral. Tuck your toes under. Let's find our very first downward facing dog, lifting the hips up and back. Go ahead and move intuitively here. So maybe you start just by pedaling the feet out, nice and easy, working through the arches, the calves, adding a little sway of the hips. Maybe eventually you kind of feel this movement just taking over the entire body. So go ahead and build your own particular dance here. Just swaying through releasing tension through the muscles. And as you eventually feel ready, we'll just settle into that really strong down dog. Feet head foot distance apart. Drop your head nice and heavy. Look in between your shins. Press into the palms of your hands, especially the thumb and the index finger. Let's take a cleansing round of breath. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Rise high to the balls of your feet. Tiptoe all the way forward to the top of your mat. As you do so, just joining the big toes together, find a halfway lift, breathing in, and then fold forward to exhale out. Now soften generously into your knees, same approach here, vertebrae, baby, vertebrae, we roll all the way up through the spine. And then inhale to reach your arms up and overhead to dasana, strong mountain pose, hands to heart center with your exhale. Hold it here, just a nice deep breath in, come back to that strength, determination for this practice, for this life, and then let it all go. Let's inhale to reach the arms overhead. Same movement on the arms, reach the fingertips forward, palms up with your exhale. Now inhale, open out wide, look up, find a gentle back bend, and then exhale, fold, take it all the way down to your mat. Halfway lift to breathe in, and then fold forward, exhale out. Rolling all the way up through the spine, that softness into your knees. Inhale to your mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach right back up. 
Bring the arms forward, palms shine up with your exhale. Inhale to open wide, take up space. Exhale, fold all the way down to your mat. Halfway lift to breathe in and fold. Exhale out one more round just like that. Slow roll all the way up through the spine. Inhale, arms up, hands to heart on Jolly Mudra with your exhale. Inhale to reach. Palms shine up as you reach forward on the exhale. Inhale, opens you wide, lift through the heart. Exhale, fold all the way down. Halfway lift, breathing in and fold, exhale out. Softening through your knees, roll all the way up through the spine. Reach your arms up, breath in. Hands to heart with your exhale. Now pause here, just a nice full breath in. And your breath out. Let's reach the arms straight up. Go a little back here, opening through the heart, and then direct fold all the way down to your mat. Halfway lift, breathing in. High plank with your exhale, just step it on back. Shift forward into your palms, let's lower to the knees, the chest and the chin, and then cobra pose coming forward, lifting all the way up, breathing in. Child's pose with your exhale, rock it back. One breath in, and your breath out. Let's rise into our tabletop position. Now as you come into this table, we're actually going to walk our knees all the way together. From here, bring a little more awareness into your right shin, and then kick your left foot back behind you. Go ahead and flex the foot so you're stamping the sole of your foot on the wall behind you. Just really feeling that pressure, that reach. We're going to add on here, so pressure into your left palm, reach your right fingertips all the way forward. Now start to bend through your left knee. We're going to replicate our dancer's pose here, so a kneeling dancer with the opposition of arm and leg. You're reaching back for the top of your foot. Once you find it, it's a back bend here. You kick the foot into your hand. This automatically will assist in lifting the chest up. Keep pressing into your mat if you feel a little wobbly here. That will really help. Opening up through the heart space. Make sure the shoulders aren't crunching up to your ears. Find a lot of length through the neck. Now see if you can kick back a little bit harder. This will help you balance. Take one more inhale, hold for the exhale, and then re-extend your arm and leg. Big breath in. We're gonna place right palm to the mat, right toes tuck under, three-legged dog with your exhale, direct lift up. Take a breath in here, and then runner's lunge with your exhale, giant step forward. Pause onto your fingertips, take an inhale, lift through the heart. Forward fold, top of your mat to exhale. Halfway lift to breathe in. And fold forward, exhale out. Now soften through your knees, slow and controlled. Roll all the way up through the spine. Inhale, reaches the arms up. Hands to heart with your exhale. Now I'll first kind of work into our standing dancer's pose. You're gonna remain on your right foot. Lift your left foot away from the mat, pulling heel to glute. Keep your knees connected. Now we're almost going to take a quadricep stretch here. So you're going to reach back with both hands to find the top of your foot. And then you're just going to pull that heel in towards your glute as much as you can. Again, knees are still connected at this point. Hold here, gentle drop at the tailbone, lifting up through the lower belly. Let's start to add on. So we're going to take that same approach of kicking into the hands. So you're going to kick that foot back into your hands. You'll feel the knees separate. And then from here, as you need, just leaning a little bit forward, finding this really bound dancer's pose. Strong, sturdy base here. Keep that stability. Take one more inhale. Now just bring it back with your exhale. Glue your knees together. Draw your hands into heart center. You're standing on one leg. Let's focus on the balance. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fingertips forward, palms up. Inhale, open the arms wide. See if you can look up. Runner's lunge with your exhale. A big step back as you place the fingertips down to the mat. Let's go ahead and drop our left knee all the way to the earth. Untap the toes. 
Settle in here when we're ready on Janiyasana, reaching all the way up. Breath is flowing here. Let's take a big breath in, reach up a little bit more. And then with your exhale, fingertips forward, palms up. Inhale opens you up, just keep your eyes formed. Now with your exhale, you're gonna bend through the elbows, place your fingertips to the tops of your shoulders, just giving them a gentle kiss. Now from here, working into the mobility of our shoulder, you're gonna pull the elbows in towards your rib cage, and then bring them all the way forward, create a rounding action through the upper back, and then lift your elbows up to the ceiling, dragging them all the way back down by the rib cage. Let's take that twice more. So just rotating through. One more time, big breath in. And then exhale, drawing those elbows down. Just drop your hands by your hips, palms shine forth. Runners lunge, let's come right back into it. Tucking the toes, lifting up. Now from here, we're gonna place our palms flat to the mat. You're simply going to pick up your right foot, keep the back flat, keep the eyes forward. Just think of hugging your right thigh into the chest. Hold it here for three, two, on one, we're gently placing that right shin down to the mat and then scooching our left toes back behind. So this is very similar to a half pigeon pose, just a little bit of a different setting with this right leg. That's gonna take away a lot of the pressure within the hip. Now, something that's very really difficult with progressing our dancer's pose is a lot of times we get confused on which way we're supposed to be grabbing the foot. So with this a little more grounded shape here, we're gonna work through that. So first, just walk your hands out a little more in front of you, kind of leaning into those finger pads. Take some pressure off of that left leg. Just test it out here. See if you can just go ahead and bend that left knee, feeling that release here. And once you have that, this is when you'll want to grab your strap. So you're going to keep that foot lifted. Now, I personally either walk my hand back so it's just by my right thigh or I even place it on top of my right thigh. You're going to take your strap here. Create a little loop, and then with your flex foot, you're just going to place the foot right into that loop. So once you do have it, pull it all the way towards your ankle, keep your foot flexed so the strap can't go anywhere, and then just create a lot of slack here. So much slack so that you feel that left palm flip straight up towards the ceiling to the outside of your body. Now as you do this, we're gonna work on that rotation of the elbow. So the idea here is to slowly bring your elbow forward, we're eventually working the elbow and the eyes straight up to the ceiling. So we move right into that back bend. Now, once you're here, you can add your right arm if you feel stable. And then just think of kind of walking the hands down your strap closer to your foot. Holding it here. Breathing deeply. Now, it doesn't matter if you're super close to your foot or you have a lot of space here. Just kind of feeling this shape that your body is creating. Let's go ahead and release out of this ever so gently. Take a moment here, just stretch your back leg long, shift back into the fingertips, wiggle around a bit. We're gonna work into our second variation, so a little bit deeper here, but the same principles moving into it. So you're bending through that left leg, flex the foot. Now, you're reaching that left hand out to the side, palm shines up, so just like we were in the strap, but this time you're gonna reach back. Fingers are gonna wrap along the top of your foot, thumb to the inner arch. Make sure this right hand is giving you that extra base, that stable ground. Be really cautious with your shoulders. If you're not ready for it, please stick with the strap. From here, we're gonna rotate through the shoulder, elbow and eyes up to the ceiling. So this is ultimately that full dancer's pose. You just eventually are adding the right arm to the equation. Slowly maneuver out of this. Let your leg go long, hands come forward. Give that little wiggle. So we'll have another opportunity to work into that in our standing posture. So just keeping that as a little mental note, let's continue here with the flow. Press your palms flat, tuck your left toes under, lift your hips and then high plank, direct step back. Lean forward, let's lower our knees, chest and chin. Cobra pose, inhale lifts you all the way up. Child's pose, rock it back. Hold it here, breathing in and out. Just take one more breath in 
and your breath out. Slowly come into your tabletop position. Now we're moving this into our second stop. So walk your knees all the way together. Really focus on the pressure into your left shin. Send your right leg towards the back of the mat. Flex through your right foot. Create that stamp-like press all the way through the heel. Core is super engaged. We'll add on by extending the left arm forward as well. Start to bend through your right knee, kneeling dancer. So you reach back, catching for the top of your foot first, and then kick that foot into the hand. Heart is lifted. Notice if you're crashing into that right hand, right shoulder, think pressing away to find space. Stick with your breath here. See if you can kick a little bit harder into that hand, really opening up. Let's take a big breath in. And then re-extend the arm and leg with your exhale. Hold for an inhale. Left palm to the mat, left toes tuck under. Three-legged dog, exhale presses you all the way up the back. One breath in. Runner's lunge with your exhale. Step all the way forward. Just find that lift of your fingertips, charge the heart to the top of the mat, breath in, forward fold to exhale out, halfway lift you, inhale, and fold to exhale, slowly roll all the way up through the spine, reaching your arms overhead, big breath in, hands to heart with your exhale. So moving to standing on our left foot this round, Right foot picks up, knees are glued together, right heel towards your glute. And then reaching back with both hands, creating that quadricep stretch. Now focus first on just squeezing the heel to the glute, dropping your tailbone, low belly, super engaged. Shoulders are falling down the back. When you're ready, start to kick the foot into your hand so the knees will come undone. And then from there, that slight hinge of the heart. Four, still keeping with that upwards motion, but just really finding this nice stretch. Let's take one more inhale. Just pull back to center with your exhale. Keep your lower half hands to heart center. Find that quarter bra carriage of the arms. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, extend forward, palms up. Inhale, opens you wide. See if you can look up, test your balance. Runner's lunge with your exhale. Giant step back. Perfect. Now drop your right knee down. Untuck your toes. Slowly making your way into Anjani Asana, reaching up. A moment of stillness here, just catching your breath. Making sure it's nice and fluid. Easing into the hips. Let's take a breath in, just reach a little bit more. Fingertips forward with your exhale. Inhale opens you wide, keep your eyes forward, and then bend your elbows, fingertips just to the tops of your shoulders with the exhale. Now start to pull your elbows down by the ribcage, sweeping them all the way together, round through the spine, lifting up, and then use your lats to pull the elbows back down. Twice more, rolling it out. Last time, big breath in, and breath out, and just drop your hands down by your hips, runners lunge, bring the palms forward, tuck the back toes, lift up, go ahead and place both palms flat to the mat, now again, back stays flat, eyes come forward, and then just pick your left foot up, thigh to your chest, hold it here for three, two, shin to the mat on one, nice release. Adjusting here, scooch that right foot back, have a seat all the way onto your left heel. Tenting onto the fingertips, just adjusting here as necessary. Then as you press your fingertips into the mat, really lean into that, just see if you can bend this knee, know that this side may be completely different from the first. And then as you are ready, next step here, we're gonna grab our strap. Your knee is bent, you flex the foot, create your little loop in your strap, and then reach back, just place it right here. Now from here, 
left fingertips down, create that extra stability, create a lot of slack in your shaft, and slowly we're gonna find this rotation. So elbow points forward, eventually elbow and eyes up to the sky. Rely on your core to keep your balance here, left arm adds up. You may stay, you might start to travel those hands closer to the foot. Take one more inhale, and then slowly release out of it with your exhale. So from here, just give a little wiggle, release that out, take note of how that felt. Let's move into that second variation a little bit deeper here. Not even a little bit, it's a good deal a lot deeper. So make sure that you're being extra gentle still with your body, moving out of it as soon as it doesn't feel right. So really set yourself up, strong pressure down with those left fingertips, bend your knee, flex your foot. Now reach out with your right palm, palm facing up to the ceiling, and then take it all the way back, fingers to the top of your foot, thumb to the inner arch, and we're slowly taking that same approach, elbow and eyes up to the ceiling. If and when you're ready, left arm up and over. Take a big breath in and then slowly release out of it with your exhale. Find that nice release. And then from here, we'll just move back into the flow, hands flat to the mat, right toes tuck, little lift of the hips to then step your left foot back, high plank pose. Leaning forward, lower knees, chest and chin. Cobra pose, inhale all the way up. And child's pose with your exhale. few rounds of breath here. Collect, recharge. As we move into these back bends, these heart openers, take some time to settle into what it is you're even opening up to. Maybe it's a bit of fear within these yoga postures. Maybe that fear resonates elsewhere, outside of your mat as well. Again, come back to that power, our motivation, resilience to those fears. Let's come right on into our tabletop position. And then from here, downward facing dog. We're just going to take a nice full breath in through the nose. And open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> and let's step the feet together at the back edge of your mat. Right leg will lift for three legged dog. Go ahead and bend the knee, open up through your hip. Keep the hips open, but the shoulders stay square. So right shoulder, especially pressing back. Take a breath in here. Crescent lunge on your exhale. Use the belly to step that right foot all the way through. Similar to our runner's lunge, this time as we ground down though, we reach the arms up and overhead. Keep your eyes forward, really bending into that right knee, straightening out as much as you can through the left leg. So even though our thighs are apart, we'll still think of kind of scooping them into one another, creating that engagement here. Now let's take a big breath in, stretch a little bit more. Fingertips forward, palms up with your exhale. Inhale, open the arms wide, look up. Standing split with your exhale, so heart to the mat, freeing your right foot, left leg pops up. In the standing split, work to keep your hips square. So ultimately, with our hips square, we're really diving into that same alignment that is necessary to be open in our dancer's pose. We're working into the hamstring, the hip flexor, building strength through that left glute. Drop your head if it isn't already, find that ease. Let's take one more breath in here. Forward fold with your exhale, left foot to meet right. Now just separate your feet hip width distance apart. This should feel really nice. Soften through the knees, ragdoll shape, hugging for opposite elbows. You can hang here if you're ready to add a little bit of movement. Maybe it's a gentle swing from side to side. 
soft pump of the chest to the thigh, shake out your head, whatever it is you need. Let's just take one more inhale. Release your fingertips down to the mat with your exhale. Toe heel your feet all the way together. Now with energy, let's reach the arms up and overhead. Big breath in, hands to heart with your exhale. So we are moving into our dancer's pose that most of you are probably the most familiar with. So we're gonna start standing on our right foot. Same approach as we took previous with that quad stretch. Left knee bends, bring the heel to the glute and then glue your knees together. Let's go ahead and start here by just reaching our left hand out to the side, palm up, so just as we worked into on the mat, and then you're gonna reach all the way back. You're reaching for the inner arch of your left foot with the palm of your hand, so the thumb should be facing up. Once you find this grip, hold it here, look forward, squeeze your knees together, reach your right arm overhead. Now working into our dancer's pose, same as that kneeling dancer, we're gonna to start to kick the foot back into the hand, you'll feel the knees pull apart. Now, especially if you're wanting to move deeper into your dancer's pose, you want to keep the chest as lifted as you can for as long as you can. Working to kick that foot back, obviously leaning slightly forward to accommodate. Stay with it here. If you lose your balance, focus on pressing into that right foot a little more. Reaching out as much as you can. Kick your left foot a little bit higher. Let's take one more inhale. Come to your mountain pose with the exhale. Both feet to the mat, reach the arms up, breathe in. Hands to heart with your exhale. Now we're gonna take a rather large step back with our left foot. As you do, pivot all 10 toes to face the left side of your mat. Reach the arms out into a T-shape, big breath in. And then wide-legged stretch with your exhale, lowering the hands all the way down. Take a full inhale, fold in a little bit more with your exhale. Halfway lift. From here, reach your arms out into that T shape. So a nice strong flat back. Micro bend into the knees, rise all the way up. Inhale, warrior two with your exhale. Flip the toes forward, bend deeply into that right knee. Now set your focus over those right fingertips. Enjoy this time of both feet being fully planted into the mat. Feel that scoop in through that center line. Let's take a deep breath in. See if you can go just a little lower with your exhale. And in peaceful warrior, flip the front palm. Big inhale, reach all the way back. Runner's lunge with your exhale, windmill all the way forth. Let's just take our high plank pose. Now you can always modify this vinyasa or taking the full variation. This is their first chaturanga of the practice. Lower down halfway. Upward facing dog to inhale. And down dog to exhale. Let's just take a cleansing round of breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Feet together at the back edge of your mat. Left leg will lift, three-legged up, and then bend the knee, open it up. Feeling that extra space being created within the hip. Keep pressing the chest back. Take one more inhale. Crescent lunge, core guide you through with the exhale, stepping all the way forward. Make sure you're pressing into the sole of your left foot, ball of the right, as you sweep the arms up. Biceps tracking by your ears, low belly lifting up, but then low ribs down and down. Nice and strong in this shape. And let's stretch the fingertips up a little bit higher, breathing in. And then bring it forward, palms up with your exhale. Inhale opens you out wide, look all the way up. And then exhale, standing split. So you frame your left foot, right leg lifts high as you fold in. And again, I really encourage you to stick with those squared hips for today's practice. It's totally fine every once in a while to open this shape up, but if we want to dive deeper into our dancer, let's focus on this for now. 
Head is nice and heavy. Sending breath through the legs. Let's take one more inhale and fold with your exhale. Separate your feet hip width distance apart. Take that ragdoll pose, but create the opposite forearm in front so the way that feels a little bit upward. And then again, movement if you want, sway side to side, pump the chest, shake the head, anything you need. Let's take one more breath in. Fingertips onto the mat with your exhale. Go ahead and toe heel your feet all the way together. And then with that energy, reach the arms up and overhead, breath in. Hands to heart with your exhale. Setting up for our second side of dancer. So pressing into your left foot. Bend your right knee, heel to the glue, knees connected. That right palm falls out to the side, shining up as you reach back. So again, palm to the inner arch of your right foot. Thumb should be facing up. Reconnect those knees, squeeze in first here. Left arm extends up. And then your dancer's pose, kick into the hand. Again, kicking as far up as you possibly can without pouring the chest forward. Think of reaching in up position. Steady into that left leg. Let's take one more breath in. Mountain with your exhale. Feet come together, reach both arms up, breathing in. Hands to heart with your exhale. This time is a big step back with your right foot, so turning to face the right edge of your mat. Reach your arms out into a T-shape, breathe in, and then wide legged stretch. Just pour it down with your exhale. Big breath in. And your breath out. Let's take a halfway lift. Micro bend into those knees. Reach your arms out into a T shape. And then rise all the way up to standing. Big inhale. Turn this to warrior two with your exhale. Bend into your left knee. Keep reaching out side to side. Spark through those fingertips. Set focus with the eyes. Bring that focus back to the breath. Let's take one more inhale. Bend a little bit deeper into the left knee with your exhale. And then flip your front palm, peaceful warrior. Reach it all the way back, breathing in. Windmill down, runner's lunge with your exhale. Taking this into our high plank pose. Step all the way back. And then lower down halfway, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. To down dog with your exhale. Full breath in. Deep sigh out. Just flowing through, rise high to the balls of your feet, bend the knees a lot, look forward, step or float, top of your mat, half lift, inhale, fold to exhale. Inhale, reach up, straight into that quarter bra, fingertips forward, palms up with your exhale. Inhale, opens you wide, take a nice big back bend, exhale, fold all the way down. Halfway lift to breathe in. Vinyasa, so you can step or float to your chaturanga with the exhale. Up dog to breathe in. Down dog is where we meet, exhaling out. You have five rounds of breath. You can stay here, maybe you take child's pose, whatever you need at this exact moment. Slow and steady inhales and exhales. Let's go ahead and start to make our way back into down dog. If you're in child's pose, we will all meet there. We'll step our feet together at the back of the mat. Right leg lifts, three leg a dog. Bend the knee, open up. Option to stay here or flip your dog. So we are moving into this back bend. So flip dog, really beneficial at this point if you have it. Really focusing as if you had a string attached to your chest. 
and it's being pulled up to the ceiling. Go deeper into your back bend. Take a full breath in. Three-legged dog, dip the hips, flip it back over with your exhale. Let's come forward, crescent lunge, right foot steps through, reaching the arms up and overhead. Keep with that bend into your right knee, opening up, you've got it. Let's take a breath in, fingertips forward with your exhale. Inhale, arms wide, lift through the eyes, standing split with your exhale. Now let's create a little power behind this standing split. So you're just gonna tap your left toes down to the mat and then give them a nice big kick up. So tap and kick, tap and kick for three, up, two, up, last one. Keep that leg lifted. Take a halfway lift through your chest, half moon pose. Right thumb down, just in line with your left or right pinky toe. Left side body is peeling all the way up and open. If you feel a little unsteady here, like I just did, think about pressing and rooting through that right foot. Keep with the reach of left leg, left arm up. So eyes down for a little more stability. If you're feeling really steady here, maybe you look up. Last chance to lift, to stretch, to take up space. Take one more inhale. Warrior two, deep bend into that right knee, placing the foot to the mat with your exhale, reach it long. Take a full breath in. Go deeper with your exhale. From here, we're just gonna straighten the right leg, pivot all 10 toes to the left side of your mat. And then reaching the arms overhead, breathe in. Fingertips forward, palms up with your exhale. Inhale, opens you wide, look up, chest up. Now hold for your exhale, let this move you even deeper into the back bend. We're gonna drop our hands behind our back, feeling the fingertips graze your glutes, your hamstrings, and then continue that slide of the fingertips down the legs, draping the head back, opening through your chest. Maybe one day you feel your calves, your ankles, Take one more inhale. Think up and over to exit this back bend. Forward fold, exhale all the way down to your mat. Hold it here, just take a deep breath in. And a breath out. Halfway lift, T-shape with the arms, inhale. Rise all the way up, warrior two with your exhale. Flip your front palm, keep full warrior, reach your all the way back. And then with no hands down to the mat. Now this is your vinyasa flow. You can float a leg, you can chin stand, flow through your unique position. Maybe go straight to down dog. It is fully up to you. And eventually we'll all meet back into this shape. And let's just take a nice deep breath in. And a breath out. Walk your hands to the very back edge of your mat. Bring your big toes together. Take your time as if this was a massage. Slowly roll all the way up through the spine. Reach your arms up at the top, breathing in. Hands to heart with your exhale. So this is our second opportunity into dancer's pose. Hopefully you've kind of got a feel for the posture and where you are kind of landing at it here today on your mat. You can then choose how to progress this. Think of this as a time, a lot of times we get really stuck in getting into the pose and holding the pose for a long time. This is your opportunity to play. So you can come in and out of it as you please. If you're taking that regular variation you just did, then go right on into it on your own time and you know the way. If you're ready for a little bit more, I invite you to grab your strap here. We'll work into it all together. So we're just gonna start with the strap, creating a little loop here, keeping that in our left hand. I invite you just to bring the right hand to the hip for a lot of kind of grounding stability. Press into your right foot, lift your left foot up, same approach, knees together, heel towards the glute. Now you're gonna take your strap, look back, this is a little test to our balance here as well. You just want to loop the strap along your ankle, flex the foot. Now as you have that, reconnect the knees, create a lot of slack in your strap here so that you're able to take that same approach of left palm out to the side. 
So once you have this, this is where we start to work into our dancers. Now with this, we want to keep our eyes straight forward. So no looking up as we took previously, just keep your eyes forward. As we set our drishti, bring that focus in, we're gonna take the same approach to the elbow. So the elbow is going to come forward to eventually lift up and overhead, flipping through that rotation of the shoulder. Now once you have this, right arm reaches up and over and you find the strap with both hands. Now you have a sturdy grip here, so you can certainly work to kind of lift your foot up from there. If you feel you still have a lot of space, I encourage you to start to walk your hands back on the strap closer to your foot. Maybe one day you start to feel your hands moving super close to the foot. Now with this strap, you have a lot of leverage to kick into it, to pour the heart a little more forward as you keep in your back bend. See if you can draw those triceps a little more back by your ears. And then slowly, your own timing, exit out of the posture. So that is the perfect way to work into it with the strap. If you're ready for even more, if that felt really easy and you felt like you were really getting close to your foot with your hands, ditch the strap. And I'll show you the way to go into the fullest variation. Now this does require a lot of flexibility into the back. So again, just as we're cautious with the shoulders, make sure you're not pushing too far. Come into it the same way. Right hand to the hip, starting to bring the left heel up, left palm out to the side, and then left foot flexes. Now, different from the way we normally move into our dancer's pose, so not the same catch, we're gonna take that variation that we took down earlier on the floor. So you're gonna bring your fingertips to the top of your foot and the thumb to the inner arch. Now you'll see that you kind of have to separate your knees to work into this, that's totally fine. And then from there, it's that same rotation of the shoulder. Bring the foot all the way up, eventually right arm up and overhead, find that connection, and then kick and lean forward. This requires a lot of breath, lots of balance, flexibility, strength. See if you can keep kicking into it, whatever variation you are in, five more rounds of breath. When you are ready to exit the pose, even if it's a little bit early, that's totally fine. Just make your exit nice and easy. Coming into a position, feet together, hands at heart center, just close your eyes. Landing here, your own timing. And as we all find ourselves into this really solid shape, just taking a deep round of breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, and then exhale, fold forward, take it all the way down. Let's just find a halfway lift, breathing in, and then downward facing dog. Walk it out with your exhale, palms or flat feet hip width for a cleansing run of breath in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Let's move into our second side. So feet together, left leg lifts up, bend the knee open through the hip. If you flipped your dog previously, go right on into it, shift forward, left foot down. Lift those hips up and open, reach through the fingertips. See if you can lift the heart just a little higher for one more breath in. And then dip the hips, three-legged dog with your exhale, bring it on back. We're stepping forward into our crescent lunge, left foot all the way up, reaching the arms overhead. Nice bend into that left leg. Let's take an inhale, reach higher. Fingertips forward with your exhale. Inhale, opens the arms, gaze up. Standing split with the exhale, hands down, right leg lifts. Let's start with those bit of kicks, bringing some power into this. So tap your right toes down to the mat, and then kick them right back up. Tap and lift, lower, lift. Last three, last two, last one. Keep it high, take a half lift through your chest. 
for half moon pose. Left thumb in line with left pinky toe. Right side body spins all the way open. Set your drishti. Keep lifting up through that outer right thigh. See if you can find just a little more expansion. Reach further for one more inhale. Warrior two, soften through the left knee, touching down with your exhale, reaching the arms out nice and wide. Hold it here, find that stretch. And let's just straighten out through our left leg. Pivot the 10 toes. Inhale to reach your arms straight up and then fingertips forward with your exhale. Inhale opens you wide, look up. Hold it here for your exhale. Let's move deeper into this back bend. One more round, hands down, sliding all the way back, draping the head back, finding your big release. One more breath in, up and over to forward fold with your exhale. This should feel really nice. Just take a deep breath in, and your breath out. Halfway lift, arms to a T shape, inhale, rise all the way up, flipping the toes forward, warrior two with your exhale. Flip the front palm, peaceful warrior, reach it back, and then windmill the hands all the way down. This is your vinyasa flow. See if you can take the same movement you did on the opposite side, just moving nice and fluid with your breath. From here, let's all walk our hands back towards the back edge of your mat. Bring the big toes together, and then slowly roll all the way up through the spine. Reaching the arms up and overhead, breathing in, and then hands to heart center with your exhale. Let's set up for our dancer's pose, working into those deeper variations. So this is my a little bit more challenging of size. So you may have noticed some of that in the positions we took down on the floor, or even in those first variations of dancer. So just know that as you move into this, this might not be exactly the same as your first one. So if you are going into that same dancer's pose without the strap, without the bind, totally fine, move on into it. If you're taking it with the strap, loop into your right hand, left hand to your hip, and then from here, just picking up the foot, flexing it, look back to find that wrap, bringing it right along the ankle, and then squeezing the knees back together. Create that abundance of slack into the strap. So right palm will be flipping up towards the ceiling. And then you will look straight forward. Keep your eyes locked slowly. Bring that rotation elbow forward to come up. And as you take this, eventually left arm reaches up and over to find the strap. Holding it here or walking the hands down. For me, I have a little less flexibility into that left hamstring. So I feel a lot more of that here. I also have a little less stability in this standing side. So kind of that double whammy of a challenge. Breathe into wherever you are. Think of really kicking into the strap here. Use it for your benefit. When you're ready to come out of it, slowly making your way out. And if you like that traditional way or the way with the strap, you can continue working into that. This is our final one, the most challenging one, moving into that fullest variation. So let's go ahead and prepare for that same approach. Left hand onto the hip, bring that right leg up. You wanna flex the foot, right palm out to the side. Now again, looking back, this time it's thumb into the index finger and four fingers wrapping along the top of the foot. Knees will already separate as you lift up, rotate through the shoulder, eventually left arm up and over. Now this trick right here, if you can't quite reach the foot as I'm experiencing now, you can grab somewhere along your right arm and use that as kind of that grounding base so you can slowly make your way into it. Now wherever you are, see if you can find peace with the breath. Stay there for another five rounds of breath when you're ready to come out of it. Just like before, we'll all meet to the back of our mat, hands to heart, closing the eyes. Wherever you are, whether you're standing on two feet or balancing in a really challenging shape, see if you can connect back into that deepest of pranayama control of the breath. 
In and out, it moves. As we all find our way to our feet, grounding down, growing roots, let's take a nice big breath in through the nose and open the mouth, let it go. Reach your arms up, big breath in, and then fold forward with the exhale. Take a halfway lift to breathe in, downward facing dog. Exhale walks you all the way out, just separating your feet hip width distance apart. Cleansing round of breath, inhale through your nose and open the mouth, let it go. Starting to slow our breath down, let's just step our feet together, right leg lifts high. We are taking a half pigeon pose, so right shin comes all the way forth. Now sort of reminiscent of that shape we took earlier just without our shin tucked beneath the body. So same stretch of that left leg. You can bring your fingertips a little more forward and start to kind of lean and hinge into it, eventually surrendering the forehead all the way down to your mat. And if you can't quite reach the mat, I suggest placing your forehead onto hands or blocks or a cushion, just something to bring in that connection. Make sure you're staying with the breath. So sometimes when we come into these slower shapes that we are kind of craving as we're moving about the practice, what happens is we tend to kind of exit that really mindful space. So when we're in dancers, we don't have a lot of time to be thinking elsewhere. We're focusing on simply balancing and staying in the shape. When we're able to surrender, we tend to kind of lose focus. So notice if that's happening for you here. Let's stay really invested into this. So even as we slow down the pace, we still have those same principles of strength, strength of the mind especially, resilience, the ability to stay when it may be a little bit uncomfortable. Determination to make these changes physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever it is for you. Let's take one more big breath in. And the breath out. From here, walk your way back onto your hands. We're keeping this nice and simple, taking this directly back into your downward facing dog. Tuck the left toes, lift up through the hips, stepping that right foot back. Now, if you want to lift a leg, shake it out, whatever it may be, you definitely can. We're moving directly into the opposite side. So feet together, left leg sweeps high, and then half pigeon pose, bringing it all the way forward, scooching those right toes back. Finding your shape here, pressing into the fingertips. When you're ready, just surrendering down. Notice if that kind of stream of thoughts restarts here as we move into the second side and kind of broke that maybe piece that you were finding. See if you can step right back into that really mindful space.
From here, we'll slowly begin to shift back, walking onto our hands, docking the back toes, sending it into our downward facing dog, and any movement here that you find feels good. Then when you're ready, simply rising high to the balls of the feet, lower the knees down to the mat, draw your big toes together, have us back onto your heels. From here, we're just moving into one final back bend. So inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, fingertips forward. Now, as you take your arms wide, lift your hips away from the heel, start to take your back bend, and then keep with your back bend as you send the energy out, bringing the palms onto the backs of your thighs. Maybe you back bend so much that you find your calves, maybe your heels, draping the head back, coming into this camel variation. You have one more inhale. Chin tucks to the chest, tapped pose. Immediately palms to the mat, round through the spine, exhaling out. You can leave the placement of your legs. And then bringing your back back flat, just crossing at the ankles, rolling over the shins, giving a big scooch of the hips forward upon your mat to lay all the way down, knees into the chest. Giving them a nice squeeze here. And just making sure that we alleviate any tension that was created through the back body during this time. Let's take a nice spinal twist. So right leg will stay in, left leg goes long. Give it a nice hug to breathe in. And then crossing the leg over the body, reaching out with your right fingertips on the exhale. You can turn the head to gaze past those right fingertips if it feels nice to you. Let's take one more breath in and a breath out. Slowly making your way back into center. Collect both knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze. We'll just swap it out. So left leg stays in, right leg goes long. Taking a deep breath in and then crossing the leg over with your exhale. Take a big breath in and a breath out. Slowly coming back into center. One final squeeze of the thighs into the chest. And as you feel ready, just extending your legs out long upon your mat. Reaching your hands down by the hips, palms shine up. Maybe you could just notice this almost energetic lift of the heart. After all of the back bends, all of the strength that we have created in opening the body up. You notice we just exist and carry ourselves in a slightly different manner. The ability to receive, to let go. Especially to settle in, to simply be.
And if and when you feel ready for a little bit of awareness back in, start simply by reconnecting to the breath. Inhaling and exhaling smoothly through the nose. Maybe this initiates a little bit of movement to the body, a wiggle up the fingers, the toes, roll of the wrists, the ankles. Maybe you take a full body stretch, lengthening as much as you possibly can. And if this leads you into an easy seat, eventually coming all the way up. And just bringing your hands into heart center, allow your eyes just to be closed. We'll take one more round of breath to just really seal this energy in. Take a big inhale, feel the heart lift towards your thumbs. And open the mouth, exhale out. And I thank you all so much for being here, for practicing with me today, for showing your strength and determination. And I am so excited to continue on with this series. Wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for practicing. See you later.